In this video, my Animal Crossing villagers fight against a maze with a hundred pitfall seeds. They will compete to see who can get out of the maze the fastest, trying to avoid the pitfall seeds on the ground. The winner will win a luxurious gift from Nook's Cranny. The first villager to make it out will win, while the loser will have to live inside the pitfall seed maze for a month. To start the competition, I had to craft a hundred pitfall seeds. Now, a pitfall seed requires six sticks of wood and four pieces of weed. It sounds super easy. Six sticks, four pieces of weeds. Not so fast. I have to make a hundred pitfall seeds, and after some quick math, I calculated that I needed 600 sticks of wood and 400 weeds. I thought I'd have enough of those on my island, but turns out I don't even though my island is overgrown with flowers. I had to talk to my homeboy Orville and steal weeds from random islands. After fighting off bees and enduring two hours of pressing the A button on trees, I finally got enough material to make the 100 pitbull seeds. Let's meet the villagers who will be fighting against these pitbull seeds and trying to get some luxurious items. <laughs> I decided that it was the best move to fence them in first and then make the pitfall seed challenge because uh, you know, I'm gonna have to push them in the middle. I don't want to have to be pushing them over my pitfall seeds and be wasting my my super precious pitfall seeds I just spent like five hours making so I fenced them in and I put in a bunch of pitfall seeds kind of haphazardly I want to make it so they can theoretically avoid them But as I was trying to make the path I myself kept falling into the pitfall seeds I don't know how the Animal Crossing villagers are gonna do it. Rio came came on in she better step away, she doesn't want to fall into the pitfall seeds. Making it so they were assorted in a random looking way, so the villagers could theoretically make it to the end of the maze without even touching a pitfall seed. We'll see if that happens. I dug, 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 dug. I was like a Pokemon villager using dig over and over and over again, and eventually all of the seeds were seeded in the ground, and we'll have to see how the villagers are going to be able to get over it. I put a fence around the entire platform, that way the villagers have one spot to exit rather than just being able to walk off free willy-nilly. They gotta go through that one little spot, so it's pretty intense. Alright, with all that said and done, it's ready. The four villagers, Pom Pom, Sly, Vivian, and Marshall, all of them are very different. All of them are different personalities. We got a jock, a snooty, and then a peppy and a smug villager. So this is going to be pretty interesting. I wonder what the strategies are going to be for this. It's time to open up the fences and let the villagers go at it. So let's see what happens. What are these animals going to do? against a hundred pitfall seeds all right so we got sly walking out with a little bag in his hand and oh my gosh we have our first fatal fatality over here we got vivian out down there she is going through it okay they all got out but they are very angry marshall hasn't been in one yet oh smoke too soon sly is back in his second his oh my gosh pom pom's in again vivian's in again they are all falling oh my god <laughs> Oh no, Marshall's just sad. He's not even angry anymore. He's just sad. The rest of them are pissed. They are angry. They are trying to get out of here and their fists are in the air. They want to speak to the manager. They are out of it. But Marshall, no, he is just sad boy. <laughs> oh, he's so sad. He just fell into it again. Sly over there just wanted to eat snacks outside. You know, he wanted to have a picnic and now he has to... He's just holding it all angry, keep falling in. Uh, Marshall looking so sad about to fall in it again, and there he goes. Pom-Pom, 
has won the competition. We have a lot going on. We'll talk to her later. But Pom Pom is the winner. She's the first to get out of here. But who's going to be the loser? Marshall, you know, he's sad, but he's getting to the end there. So it's looking good for him. Sly has been falling in this thing. Oh, oh, I accidentally just pushed Marshall in there. I'm so sorry. I just threw a squirrel into a hole. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry. Okay, so you, you better get out of here, Marshall. You've had a hard day. You're just sad. Oh my gosh, Sly keeps falling in. Sly's back at the start of the competition. He's gotten back to square A. And then over here, Vivian marching on. Oh, psh, there she goes again. <laughs> she has such an expensive outfit on. It's going to have sand and dirt all over it. Well, you know what? You know she's got a good dry cleaner. She'll get someone to clean it for her. Oh, she is stomping out of here. Oh, stomp, stomp, stomp. Okay, well, there you go, Vivian. Vivian's out of here. Let's see what she has to say. All right, what does Marshall have to say about this? All right, so this sadly means that Sly lost. I need you to leave me alone right now. I'm not in a good mood. <laughs> he is so angry. You know, he's a jock villager. He's got some big biceps. You know, I'm a little scared to get a little too close to him. He might, you know, give me a crocodile punch in the face. Oh my gosh, and he's just, he's just floundering, folks. He's flopping all over the place. Everyone's been gone. You know, Marshall's back at home. He's already got Kleenex and cried it out. Vivian's already got her outfit clean. Sly's still back at square one, falling into this dirt. So I'm going to give Sly a double or nothing uh, situation. <laughs> he keeps falling. Okay, I'm going to give him a double or nothing situation here. All right, so I am going to bring three more villagers to battle against him. If Sly wins, or at least doesn't lose, he's off the hook. But if he loses again, he will leave the island. All right, so this is a double or nothing. All right, he already lost this one. If he loses again, I will kick him off the island. But if he manages to get out of here against three new villagers, I'll let him stay. And he won't even have to live in here any longer. He'll, he's off the hook. But I don't know. I'm looking at him and... <laughs> Every step he takes, he's like, he's like seeking out the holes at this point. Like the pitfall seeds is water and he's a fish. Like he needs it to live. Like he is obsessed with these pitfall seeds. So <laughs> I'm going to get him out of here. I'm going to get three new villagers and we are going to see what happens when he fights against three fresh faces. All right, we got three new villagers. We got Judy, who's already sad. We got Apple and Zucker. Again, all new personalities, all different from the other. We'll see. You know, whenever we do these competitions, it's fun to see if any of the species just do different things, you know? So let's see what happens. We got Judy running out here first. She's in her tracksuit. She is ready for a competition. Zucker's on the move as well in his Mario outfit, while Sly's like, I don't know, man. I don't know about this. <laughs> I'm just going to stand here and be safe. Zucker making a fall already. Zucker looks really cute falling into it. I'm not going to lie. That sounds mean. Sly, of course, running back into it. Already angry. Let's see. Judy fell in here. She looks really funny falling into it, but now she is an angry Judy. Oh, Apple. Apple leaves the competition, which means Apple is the winner of this four. Uh, oh, she walks back in, though, to, <laughs> to look at Sly and, like, critique him and judge him. Um, <laughs> Judy's angry and back at square one as well. Zucker's out of here. He is sad. Sad boy Zucker. I'm not disappointed. I'm not just disappointed. I'm totally disappointed. That is hilarious. Apple is just like, I don't know. She's just chilling. Judy, Judy's not doing so hot either. Uh, Apple, Apple knows what to do though. She's in and out, in and out like the hamburger, in and out. So it's between Sly and Judy now. And uh, 
In this competition, it's the last person in here. So if someone comes back, they're back in. So Zucker, waltzed on back in. Zucker, you had a good day ahead of you. You could have went home. You could have ate some flies off the ceiling. You could have had a whole five-course insect meal. But he came back. Sly is now out of here, at least for the moment. So we'll see. Again, it's the last villager in the arena. And oh my gosh, Judy's out of here. Sly's out. Apple's out. Zucker, who is so depressed right now, so sad, just choosing to walk into the pitfall seeds at this point, is the loser. Which means Zucker is going to live in the pitfall seed maze for a month. Uh-oh. Where Judy... She's going to be okay. You know, she already left. He was the last person standing. So if anyone walks back now, it's too late now. Zucker is the loser. Now, I want to see what Sly is up to because he's been through a lot. All right, we got a few things to do now. We got to move Zucker's house to the Pitbull Seed Maze, and we also have to give Apple and Pom Pom their prizes for winning. I have no idea what I'm about to get them. Uh, I'm just gonna go to the Nook's Cranny and just see what happens. <laughs> Ooh, this big antique, like, oh my gosh. Yes, I like the antique wardrobe. I know Apple or Pom Pom would both be very happy with this. Uh, they can put all their clothes in here, their costumes. Pom Pom can put her feathers in here. I'm, I'm convinced that all these animals are not actually animals. I'm convinced they're humans with costumes on. That's like my new Animal Crossing conspiracy theory. Like, I think Apple just puts on the Apple costume. You know, Pom Pom puts on her wings and her beak and calls it a day. They're just too human-y. I mean, do you see animals talk like this? I don't think so. So let's see what she thinks of the antique wardrobe. I think she might love it because, you know, she loves all things fashion. And she, this is all, all for clothes and stuff. <laughs> Oh, this is so cute. She gave me a ninja costume. I've never had this before. I can't wait to see what it looks like. Let's put it on right now. You know, right in front of her. Oh my god. I love it. I love the color. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Pom Pom. <laughs> All right, I just checked out the restock at Nook's Cranny, and oh, there's a chess board. This might be good for Apple, you know? She's usually talking about watching TV and, you know, ruining people's days. So, you know what? Some chess, that could be a good gift for her. You know, stay inside, relax, learn a game. This is Zucker's house, by the way. Uh, it looks really silly in the middle of the Pitbull Seed Canyon, but you know what? It was the challenge. That's what was on the table. That's what must happen. All right, so I'm trying to give Apple her gift, and I realized it's Bunny Day. I was like, why is everyone wearing these outfits? Oh, my God. It's Bunny Day 2022. And <laughs> I don't know. I didn't think it was going to happen like this, but it is what it is. I think Zipper T Bunny is here as well, like full-on Bunny Day. And I love that I'm talking to Apple, and Rio's, like, screaming, hey, it's Nico. Hey, it's Nico while she's trying to talk to me. It's very funny. But, yeah, I was like, it's Bunny Day. Uh-oh. Uh, you know, where's Zipper T Bunny? Where's the, where are the bodies hiding? <laughs>
All right, all the gifts have been situated, but now, okay, Pom Pom's in her house. It's the next two days. I wonder if she put the antique wardrobe in her house because that thing is huge. I really can't see it fitting in her house, but we'll, oh, oh, my God. <laughs> It's like the centerpiece of her house. It's taking up the whole front wall. Oh my gosh, this thing is huge, huge. Okay, that doll is really cute. I mean, it's really creepy, let's be honest. But I love that she has this gigantic doll that's like just as big as her. Well, there you have it, folks. The Pitbull Seat Challenge. Check out more of my challenges. I have a challenge post playlist right in front of you where you can videos just like this a bunch of fun challenges are there have a good time subscribe ring the bell for more animal crossing challenges and try this out at home tell me how you do you know see if your villagers really react to 100 pitbull seeds all right see you later bye